Next, before you take anything apart, you should check the angle <coughs> of the actual torsion bar mount here, just so that you can put the truck back together and everything will be the same once the new bar is in. I did it both sides already. Passenger side on this particular truck is six degrees and 19 on the driver's side. Also, the new bars that are going into this truck uh, aren't marked like factory bars so if you look i marked the housing and the bar itself on both sides with paint and then with a chisel and a punch you see the same thing is on the other side Although you can break those two bolts without having to remove the wheels, I found it a lot easier to remove the wheels to get the proper leverage to break the torque on the bolts. I am doing other maintenance in the front of this truck, so it just made sense for me to remove the wheels. Break the torque on the front. I have this Harbor Freight telescopic and it's worked out really great. Like that, like that, same thing on the other side. I went ahead and pre-loosened everything, so I'm going to go ahead and start taking it apart. So I'm going to go ahead and take this 30 mil bolt out right here. So we're doing the same thing on the driver's side. Use my breaker bar here and here. Then we're coming to the back and taking out the 30 mil. So I got the driver's side out. It was, uh, it was difficult to get it out. You almost have to do manipulate both brackets simultaneously. Let's, I'm going to try a little bit different on this side and see if we can get this one to come out a little bit easier than the driver's side. It's hard to capture at this angle. So it's interesting that you have to actually push the, bra the bracket that way 
to get it off this bolt because it won't come out because of the cross member. But once it's off, then you can actually get to the other one. So let's go ahead and try the back. <clears throat> there you go. Super dirty. This bracket, I mean, you can see how dirty it is, why it's hard to get the stuff out. But I'm gonna go ahead and mark the bars on both sides and get everything set up to put the new torsion bars in. All right, here's the driver's side ready to go back together. If you look at it, I transferred my marks from the factory bar to the upgrade. Transferred here, 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 and here. Here's the old bar, here, and here. If you're curious, this particular upgrade bar is 29 millimeters thick. The bar that was removed from the truck is 25. So you can see it's significantly thicker than the OEM bar. To transfer the marks, it was pretty useful having this flat bar. I can actually use this edge to line up the groove on each of the teeth very accurately. And it's really easy to see whether it's equal across the bar. So let's go ahead and try to get this thing back together. This is the driver's side, still trying to get this on here. We'll try to move to the front and pop it in. Slowly but surely, we'll just keep hammering away at the front. Alright, looks pretty good. Mark's lined up. We'll push it in a little bit more. Alright, cool. And then we can try to put this front one on. Just remember the arrow needs to point that way. We'll go ahead and get some anti-seize and on these threads and on this surface area here. All right, with everything prepped, greased up, you can see the arrow, it's right here. Just make sure that these the, the teeth are on the grooves. Make sure that it's all lined up before you tighten it down. All right, here's the passenger side. Everything's prepped, ready to go. Anti-seize, cleaned, marked. I transferred the marks on the bars, just like the driver's, driver's side. The flange, the bar, there's the factory bar. And let's go ahead and try to get this thing in. Looks like we're lined up good there. It looks like that's as good as it's going to get. Let's try again. See if we can get one more tooth out of it. That looks better. Better oriented. Just remember when you put this back, you gotta look at the arrow. So it's lined up in the groove up there, it's lined up the grooves here, and then it needs to be lined up on the grooves here. Looks like everything's there. So we'll go ahead and snug all this stuff up. 